Hello and welcome back to Legacy Networking's Advent Calendar video series. We're bringing you 25 days of networking tips and creative ways to connect over Christmas. And today is day four. So I am bringing you a espresso martini for Christmas. And what we're gonna be doing is walking you through how to make the espresso martini, and I'll be giving you a secret ingredient that is gonna make it very festive. Um, and I love making cocktails. It's one of my favorite pastimes. I think uh, everybody enjoys a nice cocktail, and being able to make cocktails is a great hosting skill. When you're networking with people and there's a party going on, if you're the one that can get cocktails going, you're gonna be the life of the party. So it's super simple. I'm gonna take you through my my espresso martini uh, ingredients and we're gonna be making this cocktail together all right we're gonna get started and I'm just gonna walk you through the ingredients that we have in order to make an espresso martini so you must have some vodka I like absolute and that's what we have here well used bottle I have a little bit of liqueur, so you can use lots of different types of liqueur. In the past, I've used honey liqueur, but today I've got Kahlua. And you definitely need to have some sort of coffee or espresso if you have it, if you have an espresso machi machine. Um, a type of liqueur as in um, like a syrup. So you've got syrups here. I have two different types of syrups. And then you need ice in your shaker. I'm gonna be using my trusty shot glass and this shot glass is about two ounces so all of my measurements are going to be based on this and with that we can go ahead and get started this is the exciting part we're now going to start pouring the liquor and making our cocktail so vodka usually i start with we're gonna go ahead and do a shot of this. And just to give you an idea, this is gonna be for two people to enjoy. So we're gonna have two espresso martinis, finger crossed, <laughs> when we get to the end here. So I've got one shot of vodka that I just went ahead and put in there. I'm doing the exact same with the Kahlua. So we're all the way to the top, go straight in, smells amazing. And then I'm gonna want to throw in my, my little syrups. So I have a hazelnut syrup here, which is gonna be really nicely complemented with the coffee. Um, and it's gonna give your cocktail a little bit of a sweetness. So you're gonna want to, um, I can't even get this open because it's like so sugary, but you're gonna wanna make sure that it, there is some sugar in this cocktail. And to be honest, I normally don't like measure it, measure it. Um, I sort of look to see how much liquor I have in there. And I kind of do, and this is what bartenders do when they, when they don't measure, they count how long the pour is. So we're gonna go kind of a one, two with that. So you count in one, two, a little bit of your syrup. And I'm going to make this Christmassy with my secret ingredient, being an American. I've got here some American peppermint syrup, which is going to make this taste a little bit like a candy cane. And I think it's gonna be really good. With this one, I'm gonna give it a one pour because it's pretty strong stuff. It's literally gonna be just a touch. And one, literally, because it can be really overpowering. But you can get this from UK stores as well as in the States. And then lastly, I'm gonna put in my coffee. So this is a standard espresso glass. Um, we have um, an espresso machine so we're able to make some coffees and we can throw this um sort of half half of this sometimes i can get the whole thing but basically when you have a shaker this size you want to then go ahead and fill up your shaker with the coffee to kind of give it all the froth and everything inside if i had to guess i would probably say this is about 100 milliliters of espresso coffee with the foam on top and it, the foam is really important so i'm just going to go ahead and throw this in as well so here we go we're going to put in our coffee uh, foam and all 
and I only have a little bit left you can see there but I just wanted to fill up my little shaker cover the ice and make sure as much foam as possible could get in there and I'm gonna close up my little shaker and now here comes the fun part was workout. I have shaken my martini to within an inch of its life and I'm really hoping that I have enough to fill both of these glasses. So here we go with our espresso martini. Oh there we go and a little bit of foam. Absolutely gorgeous. The foam is by and far the best part. Make sure you have a foamy coffee machine. And if you don't, some people like to put just a little bit of milk in so that when they shake it, it turns into a little bit of a froth. There we go. The finishing touches and the most satisfying part is putting the little coffee beans on top in a little three shaped triangle on one edge of the glass. Let's just give it a little bit of a touch and to remind everyone that there is coffee in this, so they might be up all night. And that's an espresso martini. Here we are, ready to drink, ready to network, ready to have cocktails with someone new and actually being the life of the party, getting everyone to uh, watch your cocktail shaking dance. I think that making cocktails is a great networking tip. It's a great hosting skill. Um, and we've got some peppermint espresso martinis to make you feel so Christmassy. So I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. I will put all the details in the description below. And I can't wait to see you at the next one.